Hey there and welcome to a preview of the ArtPad in ShiftOS. Just before we begin I would like to show you the official ShiftOS forums. You can access them at shiftos.gamers.co. Remember that gamers is with a Z. Now on the forums you can see announcements, videos people have made of ShiftOS. You can access the full releases of ShiftOS. These are the ones you should actually be playing. And you can also access beta builds such as the one I'm going to be demonstrating in this video where you can actually download the latest versions of Shift OS, see the latest features, however the save system won't be done and all of that. So you won't be able to play the actual beta versions without cheating and typing in 05 trades. They're not really for playing, they're for testing the latest features. So just know that the forum is there. If you create any skins, you can look at all the skins people have made here. Let's have a little look now. Here you go, you can see someone's made a uh, Windows Longhorn skin here. You can also see this Shift OS skin I was starting to make one day, but then I kind of gave up on it. And if you need any help, want to talk to me about bugs you find, talk about some future features, because we, we are talking about the future, like the Shift OS viruses, the art pad, here we go. Here's a preview of what it looked like before I actually made it. So that was, yeah, I always do drawings and stuff. So anyway, without further ado, let's go into the art pad now, and I'll show you how it works. So here we are in Shift OS 0.0.7 Beta 5. Now today I'm going to show you the art pad. Oh, and this is this the um, Ubuntu 5.04 skin you can see in Shift OS right now. So this art pad program is a program you get to draw your own skins within Shift OS. So that means you don't have to start, you know, going to external Windows programs like Paint or maybe Adobe programs like Fireworks. You can draw your own skins with ArtPad in-game. and ArtPad is going to be something you're going to get from the Shiftorium. Um, it won't be much initially. I'm guessing it'll probably be around 60, 70 code points, something like that, not much. But the thing about it though is you won't start off with all these tools. You'll only have one really bad tool up here in the magnifier. Let me just start drawing so you can see how it works. So let's just say we had a little canvas which was 666 pixels by 444 pixels, which is quite a lot of pixels to be honest. Now let's say you're drawing along with a pencil. Now this can be used just like Microsoft Paint and you can just draw pictures if you want. You don't have to draw skins. When you save the pictures in the full version, which you can do right now, the pictures will actually be saved as .pic files and you'll get code points depending on how long you've spent and how active you've been drawing the picture. So if you start drawing a picture, walk away for an hour, come back, draw a bit more, you're probably only going to get two code points. But if you're sitting here actively for about 10 minutes drawing something, oh well, you might earn, you know, 100 code points for just drawing a 10 minute picture. So basically what I'm going to show you here now, first of all, is colours. So as you can see, this is my colour palette. Initially, when you first get the art pad, you're only going to have two colours here, which is pretty awful. So there'll just be one big square here and one big square here. But over time, you can buy more colour palettes. So you'll have two, then four, then eight, then 16, then 32. So you basically keep doubling how many colour palettes you have, especially when the uh, resize window feature comes in here. You'll be able to resize your windows to have heaps and heaps of colours on the side here. You can choose how big these boxes are going to be as well. So you can make them tiny so you can fit a thousand colours here if you really wanted to. But that's a little overkill if you ask me. So initially they're all going to be black until you right click them to open the colour picker. Now as you know the colour picker shows you all your unlocked colours. So if you were in Shift OS you only had let's say the grey shades. That means you would only be able to set things as grey. So let's say I set that as grey there, I set that as another shade of grey, like that, and then I set this as light grey. That's how you might start off. You may only be able to sh draw in a few shades of grey, which is pretty annoying if you ask me. You can also draw um, a bit thicker too, so it's not these little thin pencil kind of look. But anyway, you can get a bunch of colour in there if you want to. Now, first of all, I want to show you how you would actually use this new ArtPad program that's going to be in 0.0.7 to make a skin. So, first of all, let's say you wanted to make a skin for this title bar. I'm going to do the most basic skin you can possibly do, which is just basically a gradient title bar. Two colours which kind of merge together and form a gradient. So, maybe from a dark black to a light white and it'll just have grey in the middle. That kind of thing. So, I'm going to have a width of two and a height of just one and as you can see total pixels two. Now initially you're going to have a pixel limit and the initial pixel limit is 
two pixels until you upgrade the art pad. So that means you can really only make pictures that are two pixels, but you'll be able to upgrade that so you can make bigger and bigger pictures. And this gives a nice progression to art pad so you can't instantly make the best looking skins. Initially you can only make gradients with the art pad, you've got a limited supply of colors, and your tool set is very limited as well. So let's just go about, let's say you've only just got the art pad, this is kind of what it would be like. So we're going to zoom in to, uh, let's say, 256 times magnification. And this is just two pixels wide. I'm going to use a pixel setter here to set this. So my color is, let's say, this dark gray. And as you can see, all the tools show that I'm using dark gray right now because I've selected that color. And I want to use coordinate 0, 0. Set pixel. And as you can see, 0, 0 is now that dark gray I've chosen. Now I want light gray to be at 1, 0. So that would be this pixel here. And as you can see, this is an awful, awful way of drawing. But let's save it anyway and I'll show you how this works. I highly recommend if you're going to make a skin in Shift OS, you open the file skimmer and you make a new folder, let's say in home, pictures, skins, and let's call it something. So I'm going to call this skin uh, gradient. That'll do. And there's my new folder. So when I go to save this now, let's go into pictures, skins, gradients, and I'm going to call this title bar. Now before we continue, I'm going to show you a new thing you can do with the shifter. There's a reset button here now. So you can actually reset Shift OS to its default appearance, which we're going to do in 3, 2, 1, reset. So now you can see the awful Shift OS plain appearance. And the reason it's designed to look so plain is because I want to encourage people to upgrade this to make it look better. So here we go, we're now going to apply our new title bar. So I'm going to go to title bar, I'm going to right click title bar color. I'm going to browse and load. Remember we made the gradients folder and this is the title bar. It's a PIC file. So I'm going to click open and as you can see I could have it on center. I could have it tiled which looks pretty crazy or on zoom. But I want it on stretch so it stretches across the entire title bar. Now when I click apply you can see that this goes from a dark grey to a light grey. And if I apply that to all the windows now all my windows go from dark grey to light grey. Uh, one thing about this though, this border looks very awful. So, I'm going to go to borders, so individual colors, and I want to change the right color, so I'm just going to open the color picker by left clicking. And I'm not going to set this as a skin, I'm just going to set this as the plain color. What was it? Light gray, I think. Yeah, that's it. So now that border matches up with the light gray, apply changes. So that looks better on that side. Now I'll make sure this border on the left side matches up and then I'll just fix the other ones up. And what I'm going to do with the bottom color is I'm going to actually set that as that same graphic so it's a gradient, apply, and there we go. Oh, and I might even make the border size a bit thicker so you can see this much better. There we go. As you can see, my windows now start dark on one side and then they fade to a nice gray. And that really does look so much better than uh, what we had before with the, you know, plain look. And it gives a nice gradient effect. And that's just made by two pixels. Two pixels in the art pad can create this nice gradient effect. Now let's move on to something a little more complicated. Let's do five by five pixels. So that's 25 pixels. I'm going to zoom in. Now I'm going to move on to a tool I call the Pixel Placer. Now with the Pixel Placer, you can simply click to place a pixel. So you no longer have to go around clicking each individual pixel. So this makes it much easier. If you activate movement mode, you can draw with the mouse really easily. So what I want to kind of make here is something that I can tile on the desktop background. So I think we'll give that a go. Let's tile that and set that as our desktop background. Now remember, just drawing these skins, playing around with this, will earn you code points. And not only that, but when you set these things in the shifter, you earn more code points. So you can make a lot of code points just making your own skins. But obviously this game is not just about making skins and customizing your operating system. There's going to be a lot more features than that in the future. So I'm going to save this as background. Save. So let's go to desktop now. Desktop, desktop color. And I'm going to set it as tile. So let's go to browse and this is going to be the background and as you can see this will make a crazy background. Now this is going to look very 80s like. There we go. It looks 
<laughs> that looks so 80s like or 90s like you know where they had those little tiny tiled backgrounds like windows 95 and stuff with the bubbles and all those different backgrounds he had but there we go there is a crazy looking background now let's move on to buttons I'm going to create a new image and it's going to be 22 by 22 pixels because generally that's the size of the buttons on the windows. So if I go to close button you can see it's 22 by 22 pixels. Uh, you can make it whatever you want. I could make this 10 by 10 pixels and then set this by 10 by 10 and then I've got my own little close button I've drawn and sized myself but I'm going to just use the default 22 by 22 pixel size here. So I'm going to zoom in. And for this close button, I'm going to use this tool. This is the rectangle tool. I'm going to turn fill on. So I want it to fill this light color here and I want it to have a dark black border. So watch this. As I draw, it's drawing me a rectangle and I can draw fast or slow and go backwards on that. But there we go, I've just drawn, I'd call that like a little blank button. I'm now going to use, oh, what tool should I use? Maybe the lion tool to draw an X in the middle. So let's use this darker colour now. I'm going to draw it from about there. Oh, this is looking awful. To there. That's quite a dodgy looking close button to be honest. Let's save that and see what it looks like. Saved. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to open that. And I just want it to be centred. Apply apply and now all my windows have a close button on them but it looks really really dodgy having this close button here because I'm not the best drawer okay that was a really quick close button you could work a little bit more on it and make a much better close button than that that was just a quick example let's um try make some other buttons now so let's make uh so I'm gonna try and make the maximize button so I think that looks like that yeah, that should be a good maximize button. Looks a little bit less dodgy than my close button. So I'm going to call that maximize. Now let's apply it. I've applied that to my roll up button and the other button. I might just make something for the minimize. This should be really quick. I'm just going to use this paintbrush tool here. Almost as a little eraser. Let me set this color and then just draw with three. So we'll get rid of this. You can use colours. I'm just using grey to give you that feeling of, you know, using skinning with the early Shift OS where you've only got a few colours like grey and stuff. So that's why I'm going all grey style here. You could use a bunch of colours and make it look really pretty if you wanted. So that'll be my minimise button. Now that that's saved, let's apply that. And there we go, we've made our own little buttons up the top here. Now these do look quite dodgy, okay? A professional person, in fact, oh look at that. I've done dark on that one and I didn't do, yeah, it just looks really bad. But you can go ahead and do your own drawings. Let's say you wanted to do a drawing and you didn't want it to be, you know, anything specific. 150 by 100. So let's just say you didn't want to draw, so you just wanted to draw like, you know, a little picture. And I'll zoom in. Maybe this could be a nice desktop background or something. But let's have a little practice with some of these tools here. I'm going to use this pencil tool to just draw the ground here. So you know one of those little five-year-old pictures? That's kind of what it's like. Now I'm going to use this tool to fill that in. There we go. And I'm going to use the lion tool and a lighter shade of green to just give the grass a little bit more depth. <laughs> this looks so dodgy. Okay. Now, let's, let's put some flowers on those. I'm going to make this red. I'm just going to colour in with the pencil tool. Okay, now I'm going to get some brown for the tree. Now I love the fill tool because look at this, I just click and it fills it up for me and then I use this brown and it fills that up for me. It's really nice and quick to do stuff with that. And let's say now I wanted to finish it off with a blue sky. 
boom, instantly I've got a nice blue sky. And if I wanted to, I could save that picture, set it as my desktop background, and that would be fine. There's even uh, the text tool, so you choose a font, let's say this one, Jokerman, size 16, and you can say something such as Shift, Shift OS, and then I can put it right, where should I put this? Like that, and I'll just let it kind of lay there like that. There we go, Shift OS. So the text tool is really good because you just click and then you can place. If you don't want something, you just click undo. You've got magnifying, new pictures, the eraser, text tool, line tool. There's a range of tools here, but there's even going to be some more tools in the future. Of course, you've got the skin loader here. So let's say I like this skin that I've just made. I can click save skin. And in documents, I can call it grey grad skin if I want to. So that means next time I can just click load and I can grab that skin. I can also look at my other skins, load those up. And there we go. So expect this version of Shift OS. This is actually a beta. This is 0.0.7 beta 5. Expect the full Shift OS 0.0.7 to be out at around August 22nd, 2014. You'll then have to slowly upgrade the art pad to get it into this state. And in the future, you'll actually be able to draw your own art pad images here. So that'll be pretty crazy. Everything in Shift OS will be customizable. So you'll be able to go open Pong, and with Pong here, you'll draw your own flippers, your own Pong ball, pretty much every single thing you can see will be customizable. Even these folders here. So you can draw your own little folders. It's just going to be ultra, ultra crazy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of Shift OS. Be sure to join the forums at shiftos.gamers.co to keep up to date on Shift OS, talk about future features, or just chat to other fans of Shift OS there. If you make some Shift OS videos, be sure to post them in the Shift OS video section of the forum. We sometimes have little competitions on the forum where people might say, oh, what kind of picture can you make with ArtPad? And you do like a little speed time lapse video of you drawing something with this art pad program. Some people do like skins there that they post. You may even do a art pad skin competition where you're only allowed to use art pad and you have to make a cool looking skin or something like that. Anyway, hope to see you at the Shift OS forums and I hope you all enjoy all the future versions I release of Shift OS. See you next time. Goodbye.